Well, hello there, my viewers, my subscribers, my listeners. It is your lovely host here. It is Team RI. And how are you doing on this Monday's edition? I am doing very well. So if you like, everyone out there, listen up and pay attention. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. And my Facebook page it is called The Rai Rai Show. Get a hold of me there, okay? Or any of them social media accounts that I mentioned. Thank you very much. Now it is time to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab something to eat, grab something to drink, or maybe you want to feel like a villain and hear my amazing thoughts, my electrifying opinions on a subject. And, of course, the article will be down below or the link will be down below. Either or, you'll find out when you watch this video. Let's begin here. Paul Heyman is a genius. Behind the scenes and even on TV, okay? Not that long ago, he got fired from his duties um, behind the scenes, okay? I guess him and McMahon did not see the idea. See, sorry, did not see eye to eye, to eye. You know, McMahon is never, you can never please McMahon. It sucks, right? I know you're going to say WWE is not as good like the Add to Era, the Russian Aggression Era, and even the Golden Era. I agree. But things will eventually will turn around, hopefully. You know, it took forever back in the 90s. You really think back in the 90s was very good? No, I don't think so, but we we deal with it, okay? On this day, November the 9th, 97, was the famous screw job. The Montreal screw job. 23 years in the making. That's insane. Probably you guys don't remember that. A lot of you are still young to remember that. Look on com or Dewey Network or on YouTube. You get the footage. Okay. Back to what I was saying. Paul Heyman was the executive director of Monday Night Raw, but he was fired from the to this position following this. He was made... To be the special travel cheese of Roman Reigns. I guess that's his new position. Okay. He does not talk. Nothing. Zippo. He should do the talking. Not Roman. But whatever. But if this is Brock. Then he'll do all, all the talking. Now it's seem he has another role in the company. He has another role with the company. So you guys could check it out for yourself. So from my point of view. He should never got fired behind the scenes. Okay? I got tired of him being on TV. He does it. He said the same old stuff over and over and over. Now he said the same. He I, he don't say squat when he was with Roman. Because I guess that's not a part of his deal. Because I guess McMahon wants Roman to do all the talking. Roman is not a very good talker. He really isn't. Now he is. So. The thing that really irritates me when Paul Heyman used to join forces with Brock Lesnar, he says that are reigning, defending. Well, he's not the reigning. Well, he's the reigning. He's he don't hardly defend that flipping belt. So that thing irritates me. I don't know if you guys agree with me or disagree with me, but McMahon made a horrible decision in firing Paul Heyman. Backstage for Raw. Raw was getting better. In my opinion. I know a lot of you think Raw is trash. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I know. Three hours is a buzzkill. Hey, we asked for that. Remember that back in the day? We asked for a three-hour show. Now we're complaining. So none of us are never happy with any rushing overall. Not just W overall. Okay. So, you guys probably will never admit to it that 
you guys are never happy, okay? I know you guys want the Andrew Herrera back. It's not going to happen. It was just the right time at the right place, okay? Same thing with the Russian Grushin era. It's never going to come back. Same thing with the, the attitude, no, sorry, same thing with the Golden era. It's never going to come back. But these younger fans don't even mention the Golden era. Everyone wants the, the attitude era back. You know? So what are your thoughts on this whole entire article? You know, how long is this thing gonna go last with Roman Reigns? Who knows? The only people who knows is the people who back work backstage. We all know that WWE has idiotic writers, idiotic creators. They just want to push Roman Reigns to the moon, but they're not pushing other guys or other females. They push ladies, but it's the same ladies over and over, you know? Sorry, I'm going off the record. So what's your thoughts? Do you agree with this? Disagree with this? Or, frankly, you don't give a flying crap. Maybe you guys give up with WWE a long time ago because it's not, it's not edgy product because it's not TV 14. So um, maybe one day they will, they will go back to TV 14 highly unlikely because you know why they're... PG right now because if they want everyone back to TV 14 all the sponsors whoever sponsored W will pull out it's not like the good old days you know but I don't understand W I'm sorry Fox who who takes over who's in charge of Smackdown are not very happy with the ratings same thing with um USA Network. They're not very happy with Raw. Well, my opinion is WWE needs to change up their game. Would it happen? No. Because there's no flipping competition for Raw. You got football, but that's a different ball game. You need another wrestling promotion on Monday nights to compete with Raw, but that's never going to happen probably. Maybe the only one that could really do it is AEW, but probably AEW will never move to Monday nights, never, 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 never. We need someone to kick Monday Night Raw behind, like they did for WCW, like 83 weeks in a row. Then maybe W will change their game plan. But in the meantime, it'll be the same old stuff week after week after week. Have a good night. See you guys tonight. Only honest opinion on this article. Thank you.